Authentic German cuisine is probably one of those things you don't make that often at home. Not to worry, that's why Gasthaus Gutenberger is here where they are serving up all the German favorites like schnitzel and homemade bratwurst. You're gonna love it. Today on Megan's menu, we are going to be making all sorts of awesome German goodies. Now today, I'm here with Chef Jeremy. Jeremy, the first thing we're going to make is schnitzel. Right here, this little piece is a fat cap. It's called a train of any type of meat. So we're just going to take that off. Our restaurants, German heavy eaters, so six ounce schnitzel is a portion. So we just go down the line and cut all our schnitzels. Make it nice and flat. All sides. And there's your schnitzel. No, Derek did not rob a cabbage farm. Okay, so seriously, why do we have so much cabbage here? This is, uh, we're gonna make red cabbage. It's an average batch that we go to in a few days. First thing we're gonna throw uh, 10 onions in the bottom of the pot with a liter of oil. If I cut all these onions up, probably cry right now. So I we just got would. them pre cut. Now, what, is that just vegetable oil, canola oil? Yeah, canola oil. Okay, perfect. We're gonna peel the first few layers off the cabbage. Okay. Next, we're gonna core them. Just get the cores out. Okay, we're just gonna add the ingredients to the red cabbage before we cook it. One can of applesauce, a few cloves, a couple bay leaves, maybe a tablespoon of salt, pepper, a good handful of uh, cinnamon, a whole jar of cranberry sauce, two liters of sugar, and a whole four liter of vinegar. Wait here. We're gonna cook this for about 45 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna give it a good stir. So what would a German dish be without spetzel? Boring. Boring. So in the batch we have again, eight eggs, a tablespoon of uh, canola oil, four cups of flour, and a quarter cup of der serum de molina flour. So now here we're just going to cook it, stir it. And it really doesn't take long in the no, boiling water? No, about one minute. Got our frying pan. Here's a little bit of clarified butter. Oh, butter and pasta. Heat that up. So when it's cooked, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's pretty hot. Couple flips. Nice crisp on it. Grab our fork for you. So I finally get to taste something? There you go. Here we go. Cheers to Spetzel. Cheers. That is delicious. Thank no you. wonder it's the best side dish with every German meal. Okay, so Jeremy, what's in the sauce? Uh, sauce is just from uh, the drippings. Add a little bit of garlic to it, onions, mushrooms, a lot of mushrooms. Okay, and of course here we have our delicious That's red, red cabbage, cabbage that we made earlier. Yes. Okay, and our spetzla. Here's the spetzla. Spetzla, that's how you say it? Yeah, everyone said it different. Okay, so now you're gonna draw the schnitzel. Little schnitzel, okay. you're gonna submerge it in oil, deep fry it until it's nice golden brown. So when everything's nice and warm, got our nice plate. 
lay it all up. Nice portion of spatula on there. Grab our red cabbage as well. On the other side. Over the schnitzel should be almost ready. Come back to our sauce. Nice and hot. There's our Jaeger schnitzel. Okay, so here we have just finished our Jaeger schnitzel and now we finally get to eat it. Okay, here we go. This looks delicious. Jeremy, this will be the baby's first schnitzel. First, first, of first of many, that's right. Oh yeah. If you want good schnitzel, come and see Jeremy because this is one of the best schnitzels I've ever had. It's crispy, it's tender, it's basically everything you want in a schnitzel. And I absolutely love it. Mmm. So let me try some of this spetzel here. You are right. It is the perfect side dish for any German food. Now, the red cabbage that Derek worked so hard on, let's give that a go. I have to say, the vinegar and the sweetness in the cabbage goes great with the gravy. Let me just have a little more schnitzel here while I'm at it. Jeremy, this is fabulous. I can't say how much I love this dish. There's actually nothing I would change about it. So again, if you guys want to come and get good schnitzel, come and see Jeremy because he is serving it up to traditional yet very delicious, or should I say lecca, which is the German word for delicious. You're going to love it. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204 599 3357. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. 
Up next on Megan's menu, we are making sausage. Now, Jeremy, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about making sausage. So what type of sausage are we making right now? We're called, it's a German sausage it's called bratwurst. Bratwurst, now that must be one of your most popular menu items, I yes, think. Yes, of course. It's okay. world renowned and it's homemade, so people always come back, fresh sausage can't beat it with a nice cold beer. Yeah, no kidding. Well, or maybe a glass of milk. Of course. <laughs> okay, so let's start. I want to see how this whole so thing works. So we got our meat grinder all set up for you, ready okay. to go. Um, from before, all that nice trim that we don't waste from the schnitzel. Right. We're going to turn this thing on, make sure, going to start Oh, there's my, there's my schnitzel yes. that didn't work out. So now you get to eat in the sausage. So you're just going to send it all through if you want. Okay, so Jeremy, we have our ground pork loin. So now yes. what makes the sausage sausage? Sausage all comes in the seasoning. So here, roughly two pounds of pork we're gonna do for a batch. So here, we got pepper. For this amount, I'm gonna eyeball it, put about a tablespoon of pepper in there. Okay. Fresh marjoram. Marjoram is a nice staple for German cuisine. Same thing, about a tablespoon. And now eggs, eggs is used to uh, for a binding agent in sausage, that's what keeps them intact. So for this amount, we're gonna put two eggs. Oh, I think will be the equivalent. You got the one hander down. Of course. <laughs> and then salt, about two tablespoons of salt. And over here, Maggie. So we're just gonna put about half an ounce in there. And then just for stuff. Ice water, this is where it's gonna get nice and cold. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup. So now all our ingredients, this is where we come and get messy, and you're just gonna work it with your fingers. You wanna uh, mix this by hand for a good five minutes to render down the fat. Okay, so Jeremy, what is this whole contraption called? This is a sausage uh, maker. This is what we're gonna use to press into the casings to fill our sausage so we can finally eat them. Now, this to me looks like it's been around the block a few times. This has <laughs> probably been around many blocks. Like, how old would this machine be? I would say a good between 25 and 30 years old. Well, because it's got the old traditional hand yes. crank. Okay, yeah. awesome. So, we're going to put the meat in here and then it's gonna we're going to sausage it, link it up yes. here. Yes, okay. it through. Okay, so, I'm excited. Let's so do this. Our nice ground and seasoned thing. We're going to fill this up. So, we're going to slowly, this is frontwards gear and there's a backwards gear until you start seeing it yep for our casings and for bratwurst this is a sheep casing Kay. natural sheep casing so you use the real deal no the uh, real deal okay so now you're just gonna feed on there and slide it on and you slide the plastic piece off so that's the side and now you're gonna try to find the tip of it so this I mean, the intestine must be fairly durable here for us Very. to be able to handle it this way. So now you want to leave it hang off about an inch. Okay. You're pinch your finger there. Okay. So you know, and then work the lever here, get it slowly, and once it feeds, with this one hand, you want to just gently glide it through, and then your other hand is maneuvering it through. So how, like, how long is this? This is a lot of sausage. Got a good 15, 20 feet of sausage. Right? 20 feet of sausage. This is a proud moment for me. Okay, so Jeremy, we have our 20 feet of sausage here, and now yes. it's time for the twisting. Yes. So what are the tricks? So you're gonna find the end of it. You're gonna pinch it off. Then you're gonna go to your six inch. You're gonna take your thumb and index finger, pinch down, and then lightly twist it. And then there you got your casing. Press and pinch. Press and pinch. So if you want to grab right there with your left hand, index finger, go six inch. Is that about six inches? Yeah. Press and, and now lightly twist it. Okay. Keep on going down. Okay, and here right. we have. There's your length of sausage. My bratwurst sausage links. I can't wait to try one of these, Jeremy. I'm getting For pretty sure. hungry. Me too. Okay, so Jeremy, is this my bratwurst? This, this is your bratwurst. Because I was going to say, this looks really nice. Yes, of course. So So what are we making here? We're going to make our currywurst appetizer. Okay. So it's with the bratwurst, nice hot pan with some canola oil. 
You want to fry these so it's nice crisp edge, so you got that nice crispy when you bite into it, the skin. So when you want it, you want it to be nice golden brown here on both sides. Here we want in about an inch bite size piece for you. Okay. We're just going to cut them up. Now we can brown all sides on it. So those are nice and golden. They have a nice color yeah. on them. So and that's golden, really what you're looking for when yes. you're frying up the bratwurst. On our nice plate. So to finish it off, over here we have ready-made curry ketchup. You basically just heat up ketchup, okay. the boil, add your curry, cook it till you get the graininess out of the curry. Okay. So just to finish off, you just want to drizzle a nice amount all over your sausage. Here we have our currywurst appetizer. And this is the bratwurst that I made. Yes, it was. I have to say, Jeremy, my husband would be very proud because I made sausage. Now let's see what and it tastes he'll like. He'll be expecting some tomorrow. He will be. My sausage is awesome. It's I think that's I'm awesome. Glad. It tastes so good. And I have to say, I really love the curried ketchup. It just adds some nice sweetness yep. with a little bit Mild of twang. sweetness, yeah. Mmm. I think I did good. You did very good. Well, he did good. <laughs> I'm just eating it. Thanks, Jeremy. This is awesome. Thank you. Up next on the menu, Jeremy is going to show me how to make their ever so popular Reuben croquettes. So I'm pretty excited about this dish because I love Reubens and one of my pregnancy cravings have definitely been for beef. So I'm pretty excited about this dish. So what do we do first? We're, right now we're uh, grinding some Swiss cheese. Prior to that we did a little brick of corned beef. Now it's done. I'm gonna stop the machine, take our bowl over here. Here we already have Homemade sauerkraut, just gonna add that in. Homemade sauerkraut, that looks delicious. And again, this is where our hands get dirty. Perfect. How's that? Yep, all nicely incorporated. Okay. So once we have that to make the actual balls, one, one nice one ounce ball, roll it nice, put it to the side, and then we'll cook it. How's that? Perfect. Size. There we go. There's our croquettes. So egg wash, want to make sure it's completely covered. And then throw it in there. Try to keep that one. And then we're going to double bread these. Going to get a nice crisper crust on it. So back into the egg wash. Make sure it's completely covered. And back in the bread crumbs. And that's just going to get the extra layer of crispiness. Got it. Now, awesome. one, so we in the egg wash, in the breadcrumbs, yep. back in the egg wash, back in the breadcrumbs, and then yes. to the fryer we go? To the fryer we go. And then to the belly we go? Yes. Great. So now that our balls are nice golden brown, oh, a nice juicy crispy ball, as we like to say. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to dig in. No fork and knife needed. No fork and knife? No. Grab one of the balls with your hands. Grab one of the balls with your hands. Dip it in hands. the sauce and oh. chow down. Okay, I'll do what the chef says. This is so good. It literally is a Reuben in a ball. Yes. This is amazing. Good. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm loving the cheese. Yep. I'm loving the crunch, and of course, I'm loving the corned beef. You can't forget the tang sauerkraut. The, oh, and, and the, the sauerkraut, yes. that's right. How could I forget? Of course. And the one thing I have to say is the crunch definitely makes it, and so does Which your is, homemade okay. sauce. Yes. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Good job, Jeremy. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? 
MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Okay, so it is now apple strudel time with Jeremy. So yes. what do we have here? So here we have ready prepared puff pastry, which okay. I did yesterday because it does take 24 hours to set nice and chill in the fridge. As well as rolling it out probably yes. 60 to 70 times, which yes. is very time consuming. Fold it about 64 times. So when it bakes, times. it rises, nice buttery, flaky pastry. So here's a little tip. For those of you at home, you can easily pick one of these up at your local grocery store if you don't want to fold With it 64 times. Labor. Yes. <laughs> and exactly, and have all the labor because it's still going to be as if it was homemade because we are going to bake it and we're going to serve it hot. Exactly. So same as here, we did yesterday. Got uh, six peeled apples in here. Okay. Uh, soaked in lemon juice. We got our raisins, normally soaked in rum, but for making here, we did a little different. We soaked it in apple juice, as well as we have sugar and cinnamon. So now that's all in the center. Gently fold it in, keeping all the ingredients. Keep rolling it. That's folded. So what do we do here about the sides? We just leave the sides, them open? you can just leave it, or if you want, take your fingers, just pinch it to seal it. Awesome. There we go. There we go. Take it, transfer it over to our pan. And here, take some water. So, so why, are you why are you rubbing the water on top of the Water, pastry? when you uh, bake it, that's when you're going to get the nice golden crisp on it. Okay. And then just sugar for an extra layer of sweetness. Who doesn't like some little extra sweetness? Exactly. Sweetness? So we're going to take our knife, just make a couple scores. If you don't score it with uh, 64 turns, it's just going to keep on expanding and eventually just break. Okay, in the oven it goes. 350 for 30 minutes. Yes. Pop that bad boy in. Okay, so 30 minutes is up. Our yep. apple strudel's ready. It's been in there for 30 minutes 30 at, minutes at three 350 degrees. 150 degrees. Okay. Here we go. Nice oh, golden brown. Wow. And warm. 
This looks delicious, Jeremy. Yes. I think we did a great job. And I have to great. say, my dad would be so proud because apple strudel is his number one go-to dessert. I'm glad. Look at this, Dad. You would really be proud. Okay. Now to serve it up. Just for you. Into the plate. Got our prepared whipped cream. Make some rosettes for you. Bang here as well, prepared yesterday. Sauce on glaze. Has to be nice and chilled. This is butter, egg yolk, cream, and vanilla. And powdered sugar. That looks amazing. Now all prepare, I'm gonna take it to you to the dining room, serve it with you. Normally, it'd go with a specialty coffee with Bailey's, but for you, just gonna do a regular, nice, dark roast coffee for you. Perfect, or a glass of milk even. Even better. Okay, let's go let's eat go. this. If you're in the mood for some homemade German cuisine, you definitely need to come and see Jeremy at Gasthaus Gutenberger, where he is serving up everything homemade, just like this apple strudel I'm about to dig into. Don't worry, I'm not going to be shy. Mm. Now, <clears throat> if you ever had strudel as a kid that maybe your grandma made, this is just like that. Maybe even a little bit better. Sorry, grandma. Either way, you're going to love it. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Call 12 Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you.